Hey everybody, it's Terry. I am back at an old facility that I used to work at, I would say back in the early 2000s. So this is the actual electronics lab that I worked in. I hear that it's unused, but all the equipment's still here, so I was going to give you a little guided tour. It's going to be very cool. Here we go. Well, this is a lot smaller than I remember. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna spin around it's here. Filled yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is filled up. It looks like there's some uh, water leakage in the ceiling. Oh yeah, there. that was repaired last June. They broke a wow. pipe or a heat exchanger, and then they won't fix it. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. it's a little bit more cluttered than when it was when I was here. Yeah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to sit here, right, right yeah. in that corner. Yeah, and, and that's then, because all the DAC equipment's now here, whereas before it was just electronics repair mostly. Yeah. And now it's like it's became our center for DAC equipment and repair and building and that. And through that door, wasn't that? Yeah, perfect? that's storage and it's still Oh, good. it's just storage. Yeah. I think when I was here, this was actually a... Um, calibration. Yeah, the calibrations for instruments. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll get the light yeah. switch here. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, a little yeah. light on the action. There. We did have the yeah. fluke uh, calibrator here until someone traded it away for us. Oh, really? That's yeah. The fifty-five twenty. Yeah, right. Was? Oh, wow. yeah. Very valuable. Thing. Yeah. Cool. The purple. So that was technology. Oh, these, these from, little, oh yeah, I remember from those. Twenty years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And those yeah. things will, will grab data off vehicles through CAN with cell modems, but they have a limited speed. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool, Very, man. They're limited and today's yeah. world yeah but fairly straightforward to use voice brings back some memories yeah yeah and then i think uh <clears throat> carl used to sit over oh, here yeah, and he still yeah. does that's oh does spot. he that's yeah. his spot okay we're gonna get a carl spot on here oh yeah yep yeah. he's got his pc me, <laughs> <laughs> looks like some yeah. projects going yeah. on here these are vehicle dead x uh box container systems yep. and so those labelers yeah. Boy, those yeah. are nice. Well, yeah. yeah, one labeler failed and, and wouldn't work <laughs> anymore. We couldn't get it to work. We'd buy a new one and then the old one started working again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know? Yeah. <laughs> Quite the lineup. All right, here's an aerial shot of the lab. I'll go as far as I can. View of what it looked like. This is a lot smaller than I remember. Yeah, it's the same space, but. I guess maybe I got older and, you know. Maybe I don't. Uh, Was there always double benches in here? Yeah. Yeah. Because they tore one out when Dana left, then we had to get one from the other side and reinstall the benches yeah. on that side. Okay. That's cool. The same. Yep, I remember that thing. Precision calibrator. We keep an eye on lab temp. That's oh, yeah. another yeah, story. Yeah, monitor temperature. Yep, yep. and there's our, yeah, there's Keithley your... meters, those Keithley, are Keithley, right, that's our high precision. And then yeah. you have, of course, your DC power supply there. Yeah. And then the inspection uh, lamp there. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. And then the. And these are the Deutsch. That's all the Deutsch. Yeah. yeah. We're equipped to do just about anything that we need to do with Deutsch. We have. Yeah. Whether it's 20 amp, 10 amp, 5 amp, or 7.5 amp, I think it is. So, yep. you know, we can cover the different sizes the DT, DTMs, DTPs. Yeah. And then wow. plus you have your can stuff. Yeah. And then even, uh, even our load cell out to the track or our uh, draw bar fixture mm -hmm. we converted it all over to deutsch hmm. you know for all the stuff there yep and so that's where some of these big connectors come in oh, yeah. we also use them on deck boxes you've got what little adapter yeah these space? are built parts that go into these that we've removed and changed boxes over so these are parts out of a deck box yeah see a but, green leaf uh, punch kit right there oh yeah right yep i got one of those at home yeah yeah very cool man yeah, pretty neat. Yeah, those there. are hard to get. The green leaves right now. I've had them on order for over a year and a half. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. I've had several. I think one of them. I just got a notice from uh, Granger that one of them's going to ship. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, is it. Isn't that a welder over there? That, yeah, that's that a, that, and strain gauge welder. And I don't yeah. know that anybody uses that anymore. And, yeah, and I, I got, kept I got it, to show everybody that. Yeah. yeah. There's a boat anchor of a power supply. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. 
<laughs> I remember she said here. Yeah, I don't even know what this is here for. Yeah. Why it's here. Yeah, I remember this welder. I, I can't remember. Did we use it for thermocouples? I, I remember. Yeah, I, think I remember it, using it. Could have been for. I thought strain gauge to connect the leads on, but you don't do that anymore. No. Uh, no. Yep. I don't know. And, and I want to ask, like Tom uh, Lyon or whatever, to say, hey. What do we do? We need to hold on to this. And those are little dad act modules. Right yeah, there. that's a Kansas. That's a analog to can. So huh. that'll do 16 channels at over a thousand hertz or wow. whatever, and you can pull it in as a can channel. Which in vehicle testing, that's what everything is nowadays. I mean, yeah, can is it? These are the cell modems I'm talking about. Sierra Wireless, about mm. six hundred dollars probably, and those will get you a 4G connection. Hmm. And uh, you can basically view data from a truck yeah. in, in Texas uh, within a millisecond of delay. Very cool. Yeah, just unbelievable wow. how you can do that. So, yeah, maybe I can come back here and help you guys with some projects yeah. in the future. There's just some good. fittings. I had this all cleaned up before, but now it's a mess again because Mike a, brought stuff back that's here. That's a DC distribution box. Yeah. I don't think I actually built those. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> we, we put those in the truck. I don't think we, yeah. you know, Mike maybe still wants to use them, but yeah. uh, then these are like GoPro or GoPro, Go Power uh, Pure Signs, ah. you know, for running your laptop yep. or whatever. Cleaner power. Yeah. 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 These here we use for different things, but we grab the frequency to voltage and convert it to uh, like a wheel speed. Oh, you yeah, can grab yeah. it off the ABS system and yep. convert it to an analog voltage. Yep. But at some point we'll pretty much go to CAN if we can get that figured out. So, yeah. Very so, cool, man. Yeah. All right, guys, that's a grand tour. I left here, I believe, around 2002, so it's been well over 20 years since I've been here. I don't think I can wait another 20 to come back, but it was fun to be back, and I hope you guys enjoyed it.